acid base indicators. I'm Mr. B. An acid base indicator is either a weak acid or weak base that exhibits a color change as the concentration of hydrogen ions, H plus, or hydroxide ions, OH minus, changes in an aqueous solution. Acid base indicators are most often used in a titration to identify the endpoint or neutralization point of an acid base reaction. During a neutralization reaction, an acid neutralizes a base. The endpoint is where the number of moles of acid is equal to the number of moles of base, producing a salt and water. Reference table M lists some common acid base indicators. Using indicators to detect pH ranges. Suppose two samples, sample A and sample B, of the same solution was tested with the indicators methyl orange and bromothymol blue. Sample A was tested with methyl orange and sample B was tested with bromothymol blue. Sample A turned yellow and sample B turned yellow as well. According to reference table M, Methyl orange, which is the indicator used in sample A, has a pH range of 3.1 to 4.4, going from the color red to the color yellow. Bromothymol blue, which is the indicator contained in sample B, has a pH range of 6.0 to 7.6, going from the color yellow to blue. Sample A has a pH range of 3.1 to 4.4. This is the range for the indicator of methyl orange. Sample B must have a pH range of 6.0 to 7.6, which is the pH range for bromothymol blue, or BTB. Since sample A turned yellow, the pH is at its maximum for methyl orange, which is 4.4. Since sample B turned yellow as well, the pH is at its minimum for bromothymol blue, which is 6.0. Since methyl orange turned yellow, the solution must have a pH of at least 4.4. Since bromothymol blue turned yellow as well, the solution must have a pH of 6.0 or less. So the original solution must have a pH between 4.4 and 6.0. Now for another sample of the same solution. As previously determined, the pH range of the original solution was 4.4 to 6.0. Now let's narrow the pH range using a different indicator, bromcreosol green. Bromcreosol green has a pH range from 3.8 to 5.4, going from the colors yellow to blue. This means that at a pH of 3.8 and below, the solution will be yellow. At a pH of 5.4 and above, the solution will be blue. Adding bromcreosol green, or BCG, caused the solution to turn blue. This means that the pH is 5.4 or above.
So the pH now narrows to 5.4 to 6.0, where 5.4 is the upper range for BCG, and 6.0 is the lower range for BTB, or brom thymol blue. We now know the pH within 0.6 pH units. Indicators found on reference table M. Methyl orange. Methyl orange is an indicator that goes from the color red to the color yellow with increasing pH. Bromthymol blue. Bromthymol blue is an indicator that goes from the color yellow to the color blue with increasing pH. Bromcreosol green. Bromcreosol green is an indicator that goes from the color yellow to the color blue with increasing pH as well. Phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein is an indicator that's clear in acidic solutions but pink in basic or alkaline solutions. The endpoint means the point of neutralization for a titration. Remember, during a titration, an acid will neutralize a base. The color of phenolphthalein at the endpoint or neutralization point will be pink. Red and blue litmus paper. Use blue litmus paper to test for an acid. Use red litmus paper to test for a base. This image shows actual red and blue litmus paper. This concludes my lesson on acid-base indicators. I'm Mr. B.